All right. What's going on? Michael Krug here, coachkrug.com, health and fitness coach. Uh, today, talking about eating while on the road or on vacation and how to really make it seamlessly work into your goals and your vision and to really just stay on track and to make these decisions and make the foods that you eat serve you most of the time in a way where it's not going to feel like, you know, you're restricting yourself, you're going against what you want to do, rather having it become your new norm. So uh, really a couple of basic points here that I'm going to cover. The first and foremost, um, if you've done a program with me, if you know how I approach food, the energetics of food and what food really is, the most important thing that we can do is to focus on the high frequency foods. Uh, it might seem like a no brainer, you know, when we're on the go, especially if we're traveling, um, whether it's for your job or if it's for vacation, uh, we can get lost and not necessarily focus on those things as much as we would like to. So something that is really important to do, and you can do this anywhere. You can do it at restaurants, you can do it at grocery stores, you can do it at uh, convenience, gas stations, those types of things, is to just focus on real foods and to really continue to focus on if you've watched any of my videos on food, uh, fiber and protein, those are the two most important nutrients to make sure we're getting adequate amounts of each day. <clears throat> when it comes to specifically, when it comes to maybe road tripping, or if you are a truck driver, uh, if you're on the road a lot, there are tons of options that are actually pretty simple and quick that you can really just substitute out instead of getting, you know, if we stop at places like Quick Trip or Holiday, Speedway, uh, I don't know, Come and Go, Casey's Gas Station. I'm from the Midwest, so those are the ones that are popular around here. Um, whatever gas station you stop at, though, you know, typically they are going to have those kind of hot bars, the things where, you know, it's basically microwaved or it's just <laughs> really ultra processed food that is just being kept hot that they want you to grab because, A, it tastes, it tastes fucking delicious. Like, there is no denying that. Like, uh, the croissant breakfast sandwich from Quick Trip is probably one of the tastiest things in my mind in the world. Uh, and if you take the time to look at the ingredients and read through, there's a lot of shit in there that we don't want in our bodies. So um, first and foremost, if that is your norm to go to the hot bar, I wouldn't, I wouldn't start by just getting completely rid of it. I would start by, okay, maybe every other time I go when I would typically get that type of food, I'm going to substitute it for something better. Now, specifically Quick Trip, I love Quick Trip. It's my favorite gas station. Uh, a lot of my friends and family know that. It's like an inside joke with my life. I just love Quick Trip. Um, there are so many awesome options there that you can get. So one of them is Perfect Bars. Uh, Perfect Bar is a protein bar that's made mostly out of peanuts. Uh, it's all organic ingredients. They're really solid. They also have, you know, that's a Quick Trip they have that. That's gonna be in the refrigerated section. Um, there's also a lot of other options at Quick Trip and other gas stations that are going to be really good. So other options that I really like, RX Bar. So, uh, you know, protein bars serve a purpose. And if your purpose is to get some energy to stay going and to also meet your macro goals and to stay on track with your health and fitness goals, RX Bars are great. They're high in protein. They're high in fiber. Uh, there's really, it's right in the package. There's no BS. Um, they're made mostly with dates, so the sugar that's in there is actually from natural sources, and there's plenty of fiber. Uh, I also really like there's a newer brand of uh, meat stick per se. It's called Epic Bars. Uh, specifically, I really like the sriracha chicken as well as the venison bars, and I know they have those two specifically at like holiday gas stations and probably similar gas stations around the country. Uh, those two are very high in protein. I think the venison is about 13 grams. The chicken one's 12. Uh, they're very low in fat and sugar. They both have less than one gram of sugar, which if you know what I'm talking about, if you've listened to any of my content, uh, minimizing sugar is, is a, a key when it comes to gut health, when it comes to overall health and well-being. So those Epic Bars are a solid option. And then pairing that with something like an apple, an orange, a banana, I mean, most gas stations that you go to, they do have some sort of fresh fruit. Now, <laughs> fresh, right? Maybe it's been there for a while, uh, but it's going to be a way better option than getting something from the hot bar, than getting something, you know, there's even <clears throat> kind of not a tangent, but there's even foods that appear that they would be extremely healthy. I'm going to go back to Quick Trip as an example, right? They have 
those like cranberry, uh, cranberry, whatever sandwiches. Um, those things are loaded with different types of gums, uh, carrageenans even in that one. Uh, there's tons of sodium. If you look, I think there's like about like 1200 milligrams of sodium, which is more than we should be eating even a day. So just be aware. Uh, it really comes back to that simple concept of reading the ingredients and knowing what you're putting in your body. Uh, if you look at things like Epic bars, RX bars, perfect bars, uh, I mean, even if you wanted to go with those like one bars, I mean, you know, there's, it's a spectrum, right? And and if you're going to, you know, if the spectrum is, these are the lowest frequency, we go this side, I guess, lowest frequency foods are on this side. Uh, that's going to be like the hot bar, the stuff that's, you know, obviously chips, stuff in bags that's really processed. On the other side is going to be the fresh fruit in the Epic bar. You know, even if it's something in the middle, maybe it's a lower grade protein bar, still going to be moving in the right direction. So Wanted to touch on that, that there's, there is tons of good options. Also too, a lot of us, I mean, we have our go-to spots. So when you do stop at maybe a gas station, a convenience store, um, just have a plan and know before you even go in there, what are you gonna get? For me, I always get usually a sparkling water of some sort. I like the Perrier, uh, like in the green bottles. Um, I usually get, excuse me, a, an orange or an apple and I get an Epic bar or if I'm feeling like I don't want that, I want something a little different texture, I'll get a perfect bar. And I just, I just, I go in, that's my, my mission. Oh, I also, at Caribou, or not Caribou, at Quick Trip, I get the Caribou Gold Machine, the Americano, because I love that. I'm a coffee drinker. Um, cheers to that. But <clears throat> the, the, the big thing here is to A, read the ingredients, and then B, have a plan before you even go into the store. That can be really, really beneficial. So to switch gears a little bit, um, when it comes to traveling longer, uh, this actually would work for if you're staying in an Airbnb, if you are uh, a truck driver and you have a refrigerator in your truck, if you're staying in a hotel, anywhere where you're going to have a refrigerator or someplace where you can store some sort of food, uh, dry and refrigerated food, um, I highly recommend stopping at a, uh, a local grocery store, stopping somewhere um, like a farmer's market even, where you can get local fruit and vegetables that you can take with you. So for example, you know, in Minnesota in the fall, you're gonna be able to get local apples at a farmer's market or even at like a high V or a Cub Foods. That being said, if you know if you're driving across the country, if you're in California, I mean you might be able to get grapes, you might be able to get avocados, mangoes, all sorts of different types of local fruits. That's gonna be really beneficial for us. We want to get fruits that if we can are as close to the source as where they came out of the ground as possible those things are going to serve us the best. Also, something I live and die by as a snack is nuts, mixed nuts. So I'm a Costco shopper and I get the, the unsalted mixed nuts pretty much every time I go. If I ever need a snack, whether I'm playing golf, if I'm on the road, if I travel, I'll bring, I'll bring the whole fucking thing of mixed nuts in my travel bag and bring it on the airplane with me because A, I'm not going to have to spend uh, a bunch of money on food at the airport. And then B, you know, the stuff at the airport you know, there's, there are some good options, especially at MSP. You can find like the people's organic is solid, but for the most part, it's going to be low frequency, honestly, shit that you're putting in your body. So it's again, being strategic, reading ingredients, um, protein bars. Again, uh, I've talked about that. I have a different video about protein bars. You can find it on my channel as well. Uh, and then something else that I also recommend is being able to find a place to get probiotics. So whether that's getting that GT's kombucha, I think that stuff is delicious, specifically the chia seed one, because there's fiber in there. Um, there's also, you know, sauerkraut and kimchi is actually pretty re readily available at a lot of different places. Uh, and then if you have to, you know, Greek yogurt too. Um, dairy is, you know, hit or miss with a lot of people. Some people do really well with it, some people don't. Um, just recognize if you're gonna get the, the yogurt, make sure that it's uh, it's the Greek yogurt, it's more unpasteurized, it's the stuff that has the probiotics in it because that's what we're looking for out of the yogurt. Um, and then too, you can supplement with pro probiotics. It's not my, my recommended option, but if you, if you know that it serves you well, that's an option as well. So some really simple things, especially if you're doing road trips or if you're traveling for work, that can be really helpful. Um, on top of that too, I do wanna make the point, so water, um, specifically if you're traveling by plane, you should start drinking probably 25% more water each day, at least three days before you leave for your trip. Because when we change climates drastically, so for me, if I'm in Minnesota, right, and I go down to Florida where it's extremely humid and hot, or if I go to Arizona where it's extremely dry and hot, or even to Colorado where the altitude is way up, 
my body is going to need to recalibrate to that. And it does that through molecular exchange through water. So starting to drink for me, for example, I drink about 150 ounces of water a day. So I'm going to want to start to drink probably closer to like 175 or 180 or, or 200 ounces of water per day, three days before I leave. That's going to help my body just calibrate more quickly. Also too, if you're going on like a road trip, if you're driving across the country, uh, if you're a truck driver per se, just you, you should always have a, at least a gallon of water on you at all times. Continue to drink water as you go because as you're going through different climates, different altitude changes, your body needs to continuously calibrate. So just focus on drinking at least a gallon of water a day. So that's the biggest tip I can give you uh, when it comes to water and traveling. And then the last thing that I want to um, touch on with travel, and this is probably more so for like vacation if you're, if you're traveling for fun, uh, I want you to enjoy yourself. So, okay, so yeah, I want you to enjoy yourself. Really important, I mean, the reason that we're taking a vacation is to have fun, to enjoy ourselves, to unwind, to relax, to uh, enjoy new places, enjoy new people, enjoy new things. So definitely... It's, there, there's a balance between, you know, being strategic and also like making sure you have fun. So the biggest thing I can recommend when it comes to enjoying yourself, because me personally, if I was to eat out three meals a day and have beers every night, I mean, I would just kind of feel like, like shitty. I wouldn't feel that good. So I, I want to continue to feel good. I want to be able to move and have energy and do the things that I love while also enjoying the experience. So something I recommend uh, is to have a plan. So if you're going to a place where there's some really kick-ass restaurants you want to check out. So know like, okay, this night, uh, I want to check out this restaurant, look at the menu beforehand. I want to try this out. Uh, there's also this really cool brunch spot. So I want to check that out this day. Have kind of a general plan and idea of the places you want to check out. And even if you just, if you can cut the three times a day eating out to at least, to only like one or two. And even on top of that, if you can have one of those meals be a higher frequency, be more lean protein, more vegetables, things like that, you're just going to feel better. You're probably going to enjoy vacation a bit more. Uh, so that's a really, a really big one, right? So uh, another thing too with that, and you know, making sure that we're still kicking on all, all cylinders to, to make sure that we're staying on track with our goals as well, is to really, instead of hyper-focusing on the food, uh, really focus maybe more on the environment, on the culture, the people, who you're with. Um, don't let when you're out when you're out to eat on vacation. Don't let that be like the thing that you're most looking forward to is just food. How about like on the flip side, enjoy enjoy your company, enjoy uh, what you're doing, the ambiance of the place, right? Like if you're on the beach, right? That, that, we don't get that every day, at least in the Midwest where I'm at. So um, that's a big one, right? I mean, how often are you sitting beachside with your family eating seafood, right? So take your time, uh, enjoy the the company enjoy the experience that's a big thing that can help especially when it comes to maybe overeating on vacation uh something else too i'm all about this every time i travel no matter where i go is just to walk so whether it's walking to restaurants whether it's walking to the conference that you're attending uh whether it's walking to just intake the sights the sounds the culture the people uh I've found that when you walk more while you're on vacation a you're going to stay on track with your goals um you're going to get just exercise them without even thinking about it. But it's also a really great way to learn more about the local culture, about the people, about how people operate. Um, you know, whether you're domestic or abroad, you can typically walk and just find cool, neat things that maybe you wouldn't necessarily see in a guidebook or in a travel book, or if you're just taking Ubers and buses and taxis everywhere that you want to go. So walking's huge. Uh, walking, I also too, you know, back to my thoughts on exercise and nutrition, but just to walk after, after meals as well, a digestion walk, I call it. So those are big. Um, another thing too, that can be kind of nice, especially if you're in a cool spot with like a really nice restaurant with, you know, different kind of eclectic type meals is to just share with people. So if you have four people uh, and you all get something different, just to share a little bit here, a little bit there, um, you know, let people try your meal, you try their meal. Um, you never know. Sometimes maybe your body is craving some specific taste or some specific texture or flavor. And once your brain hits that, it actually is like, all right, I'm good. I'm satisfied now. Um, so being able to actually, you know, try more of the things. And again, it's all about being in the, uh, in the moment, in the experience with that. And then, uh, with that too, the last point that I want to touch on is just to, you know, be in the moment, have fun, 
Uh, don't stress about these things, right? You can always get back on track right away, no matter where you're at. Uh, and really just, just enjoy the, the people that you're with. Because that's what, that's what vacation is all about. It's to really connect uh, both with ourselves and whoever we're traveling with. Um, and that's, that's, that's what I got for today. So I hope this was enjoyable. Uh, if you enjoy my content, if this is valuable to you in any way, I would really appreciate if you could like and subscribe to my channel. Also, if you have any questions, go ahead and leave a comment. I'll get back to you. And uh, that's what I got. And until next time, keep inspiring. Thank you.